Hello guys, my name is Ericode and today I'll be showing you how to create a vault script in Roblox Studio. First of all, I would like to say that I'm sorry for not uploading uh, for a week. Uh, I've been really busy over the past few days, so I wasn't able to record a video. But I'm back now, so let's get into the script. First of all, in starter player and in starter character scripts, you want to create a script called Vault Up. Next, inside of the Vault Up, you want to create Climb at Anim and Wall Hop Anim. But name these like this. Uh, you don't really need the Wall Hop Anim, it's just switching between the different animations. Okay, now let's get into the script. Okay, so this is the script. Uh, I'm gonna put it into section. This is quite messy. So in this part, we have the uh, local variables. This is the player, local player. This is the player's character. It's the humanoid root part, and this is the humanoid, and these two are the climb animation. You don't really need the wall hop animation, but you definitely need this climb animation because this is the vault animation. That's quite a mouthful. Uh, these are two booleans that are really necessary, and it's the GUI. So I have a GUI set in my game so that if you want to vault, it'll uh, become fully transparent, uh, not fully transparent, fully opaque, and if it's not available then it will be partially transparent so here we have the while game get run service dot run the render steps wait this basically checks every single frame and this part this part is like one of the like the most important parts for the script this is the raycast so this is the distance from the player and this is the up distance so you have the humanoid root part is usually at the player's chest it just moves it down i think five to check if it's available to vault then this is the part this checks if part or well part equals find part and ray this checks if the part's name is vault or the the part's parent is game.workspace.vault folder then it says prt to true uh, else it will set prt to false so this section of the script is really uh, useful because if if humanoid full material full material is not equal to air then it allows it to vault this is the user input service this is also you also see this in like every single movement engine this sets it so that you can't spam vault and this part is also really important this is the body velocity so it'll add a, a force to the player and this is the 10 so it'll move the player by 10 value and this will move the player by 20 value up so the if floor material is not it equals air then wh is the wall hop uh, else it will play the vault animation then it adds the vo uh, velocity for 0 0.15 seconds and then it waits until the humanoid floor material is not equal to air and then it sets the vault to true so that means you cannot vault uh, multiple times in a while you're in the air then this is the final part of the script it's not much it just sets the gui transparency to zero so it checks if you can vault then it sets it to fully opaque and then if it's not part then set gui image transparency to 0 0.8 so once we're back into the game, you'll be able to see that nothing really much has changed, except for when we press play, we're in the game, and you can see the, uh, the bottom of the vault UI, and then if we come up to a part and that allows us to vault, and we press E, it plays a vault animation and adds a force. It will also, and then let's say we're jumping, plays a different animation, and it still adds the force so this allows us to uh, ledge grab onto different parts and yeah that's how you create a vaulting script if you want to know how to create a sliding script like this or a running script or a leaping script I'll leave my other video in the description uh, and I've also left the model in the description for anybody that wants it and also the pace bin for the script. Thanks for watching.